Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Soul Line Success. Today, I'm going to help you answer the question, should I leave my soul-sucking job? So this topic came up on a strategy session that I had the other day with a woman and I just felt it was really important to talk about because many spiritual entrepreneurs find themselves in a quote unquote soul sucking job, um, a cubicle position, nine to fiver or a corporate position and it literally is draining them and is, it feels like it's draining their soul. They finish uh, feeling overwhelmed, burned out, exhausted. Now, a couple of things need to happen when you're deciding whether or not you're going to leave your full-time position. First is, can you leave your full-time position and still feel empowered and abundant? Where is your money mindset? What kind of situations have you been manifesting for yourself thus far? If you can tran transition out of your current full-time position, maybe that's a better option. If you need to take the leap, maybe that's the better option. But the thing to know is that taking no action is the worst decision and that is a choice. So no action is an action. The action of staying in a soul sucking job while your soul is calling you for so much more is a recipe for misery. So if that's where you find yourself, recognize you have to make a decision. And if you are deciding to stay in your current position as you transition into your purpose work, then you need to reframe what that position means to you. So you can reframe the position um, as a source of income, as an investor into your spiritual entrepreneurship business. You know, there's many different ways where you can recognize that you are benefiting from your current position. And I would, I would bet that your current position is perfectly aligning you for your purpose work because everything that you've been through up to this point is the perfect recipe for your purpose work and have and has been preparing you for this very moment for you to make the decision to uh, move on to the highest a path for you which is your soul aligned path and following the nudge of what your soul is calling you to do so if you plan on staying, there's going to have to re be a reframe. Um, but obviously, if you're referring to it as your soul sucking job, regardless, that is the indicator that a decision has to be made. So if you decide to not make a decision and stay in the soul sucking job, then the number one advice I can give you is to quit complaining about it and quit calling it a soul sucking job and reframe it immediately as much as possible because it's dra dragging down your vibration and you're choosing it because you do have a choice in this matter. So you have to recognize that you have a choice in this matter. Now you can stay there or you can choose to move forward with what your soul is calling you to do. And those are your options. And so when faced with the question, should I leave my soul sucking job? I am a firm believer in responsible entrepreneurship. I've taken the leap many, many times. I've jumped ship many, many times um, without dipping my toe in the water first to see how uh, deep it is, right? Uh, so what I can share with you is that your current belief structure and what you're currently manifesting for yourself, like what you believe to be possible for you, is going to determine where that net appears when you take the leap, but the net will appear. It will always appear because as you move forward with your soul aligned calling, you can't lose. Your soul is calling you towards, you know, your highest path. And the belief systems that you carry are going to determine how rocky that path is. So if you are fear-based and uh, have a very lack mindset, I would say if you take the leap, uh, these belief systems are going to be front and center for you to see because they're going to be triggering the shit out of you and you're going to see them ex 
uh, manifesting in your experience, which is perfectly okay. It's it's all good because you're learning from it um, and you're going to get through it, but your lessons are gonna be harder than if you have a positive mindset, an abundant mindset, and you know that the, the that everything supports you and you've worked on your money mindset enough to, to where you have a healthy relationship with money, right? Now, some of you, obviously, everybody has their own circumstances as far as like reserves and things like that. So you just wanna make a responsible decision, but this decision should leave you feeling empowered and abundant and there may be fear there but it's not the kind of fear that you know uh that the other shoe's gonna drop or the rug's gonna get pulled out from under you and it's a very lack mindset it's the kind of fear that comes up when you're pushing your upper limit there's a difference there so if it's a fear around your security and things like that, then this is a root chakra issue that you'll probably want to clear up so that you can make healthy decisions and not sabotaging decisions because the patterns that will pop up for you will be there, you know, they'll be popping up for you to heal those root chakra issues. But just know that the net will appear for you. It's just going to appear um, according to the belief systems that you are carrying at the present moment. And you have the ability to shift those in the present moment. So you're not locked into anything. You can change everything in an instant with a decision, but you have to make the decision. You have to have, you have to make a choice and you have to claim that you deserve to be able to do what it is your soul is calling you to do and thrive in it. So the number one reason why someone would be choosing not to leave their soul sucking job is because they don't believe they can actually profit and or support themselves with their soul aligned business. And this is a belief system that is running under your radar because if you knew 100% that you were supported when you move forward, following your soul guidance and the nudges and the guidance that's coming through and the calling at your heart that's tugging at you. If you truly knew that you were supported and you had full faith in that and you knew that you were supported no matter what, then you would already have left your, your soul sucking job. So therefore there's a belief there that says, I doubt, I doubt this. I don't know if I can, I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if I'm gonna fail and fall flat on my face. And you know what? You don't. And you know what? Some of these quote unquote failures might occur as you move forward, but they're not failures. You just are perceiving them that way. Everything is learn, expand, and grow. That's what you're given. You're given opportunities. You're not given, you're not failing. You're given opportunities, and everything is an opportunity to expand or grow or learn, right? So I just wanted to pop in there pop in here today with this because it's really important. It's a transitional pivotal point that's going to shape and shift your future and everything after that. But here's what happens when you step confidently with faith, emphasize the word faith towards doing what your soul is calling you to do. You act, working with the spiritual law of faith will begin to activate miracles in your life that were not available to you prior to this. And it will be in the face of fear for a lot of you, but it is a necessary part of the journey. So I hope this finds you well. And if you have any questions or comments about this, uh, please leave them below the video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if this really resonates with you, then I welcome you to hop on my Soul Align Success Masterclass, which you can also find below this video. And I look forward to popping in with you on another episode very soon. Namaste.